Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to look at how to get the app ID of our model-driven app using JavaScript. Let's do it. Uh, I have on the screen here the link to a uh, post on my website that goes through this. Uh, we're going to go through this example here. It's pretty simple. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how this works, so you may get a uh, different perspective on it uh, when you're trying to do, use this in your code. So I'm going to flip over to my D365 environment, and we can see here that in the URL we have this app ID, right? So this app ID changes between your different apps, um, and you can see here it's a GUID, right? So you may want to use this in your code if you're uh, building out customizations using JavaScript and you are building out a URL, for example. Um, so you may want to build a URL for a record or um, use it in different scenarios. So you don't want to have to hard code these GUIDs, of course. You want to be able to grab that. And a nice way that we can grab that is using a function within D365 and the Power Platform. That function is part of the XRM utility global context, and it is called get current app properties. All right. So I have this code on my website. It's also on the Microsoft website. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code and look to use it and see what happens. All right. So I'll copy it. I'll go back to my D365 site, and we can run this directly in the browser. So I'm going to hit F12. And this takes me to the developer tools of the browser. Um, I am going to clear out this console and just paste in what I have here. All right. So if we take a look at this code, what it's doing is it's setting a variable called global context, and it is getting the global context and putting it into this variable. Then on the next line, we are calling the get current app properties to go off and get those properties for this org and this app and uh, we will print out into the console what we get back, right? So the success callback that we're going to see is uh, printing out the success of the first parameter here, which is called app in this case, and we will get an object back uh, with a whole bunch of details about the app that we are currently hitting. Um, and then, of course, we also have an error callback in case there's any issues. So if I run this, let's see what happens. All right, so we get our object back. It's printing it out to the console. And this is cool because we can see here we have a whole bunch of information. The first thing we get back is the app ID. So you can see that this app ID is the GUID that matches up with the one that I have here in my URL. Okay, so if you wanted to use that, um, you can grab that using this function. We also get things back like the display name, uh, the unique name of the app, um, and some other things that you may or may not use, right? Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, don't hard code anything. Never do that. Um, if you want to, if you want to use the app ID down here, print it out in the console. You can just add this to uh, the app object that we get back, like so, and then it'll just print out the app ID there, and you can use it in your code. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesuza.com. Thank you.